Now we are jumping to the second tool of recombinant DNA technology that is cloning vector. Come to the definition. Cloning vector is that DNA molecule which can freely do replication in appropriate host and in which desired DNA segments can be inserted. Examples of cloning vector are plasmid, cosmid, bacteriophage, etc. Now what are the characters of a good vector? A vector should be an origin of replication site that is ORI site due to which it is able to multiply within the host cell. It represents the sequence from where replication initiates. A vector should contain a selectable marker, usually antibiotic resistant marker that should be absent in host main chromosome. It should not have the tendency of natural recombination so that recombinant DNA remains unchanged. A good vector should not have methylase enzyme. This makes the recognition site of restriction enzyme resistant by methylation due to which there is more problem in manipulation of recombinant DNA. So these are the main characters of a good vector but no natural DNA molecule is a good vector. Thus, vectors used in cloning are produced by attaching useful segments of different natural DNA molecules. By this, some most useful and new vectors are obtained. You can see this is the picture of PVR322 vector. It is the most famous artificial vector and it is 4362 base pairs long and its whole sequence is known. It has restriction site for HIN3, CLA1, ECOR1, BAMH1, SAL1, PVU1 and PVU2 and PST1 also. Now we are jumping to the third and last tool of recombinant DNA technology that is competent host. The host like bacteria, yeast, plant and animal cell can be used and methods to introduce DNA into host cell may be gene gun method, micro injection or electroporation. So students these were the three important tools of recombinant DNA technology.